This might be my favorite install above a fireplace. I couldn't decide which one to go with, so I threw both transitions on there. Look how flat it sat. Now, we're going to make some holes. That way, it says as flat as possible. Now, you know I got to show y'all how we did it. Here's the install coming up. If this TV's going on a regular wall, I ain't going to lie. I just throw it up there. But when it's going to the fireplace, you got to be exact. Now, I've never been surfing before, so you know how to wave and you just... All right, never mind. When dealing with shiplap, I'll make four holes with a paddle bit. This is what it looks like inside the fireplace. Wait, did he say safety first and not use the glasses? I like to use both, the Sawzall and the multi-tool, so a lot of times I go back and forth between both of them. And then we're gonna get this outlet out of there like so, then get it added to our white box. We're also gonna take our Cat5 and Coax connections and get those inside the box as well. Now that that part's done, we'll secure our box to the wall like so, and then we'll get started on the template left, then the right side. At this point, all we have left is just to get this mount up. We put some toggle bolts on this side. Now, this is what I wanna know. What was he looking at? I might need to go by HR and see what the hell going on. Two screws left and our mount's completely installed. Oh, hey, watch out. Try to tell you, try to tell you. Get our one connected there. This is what it's going to look like inside that box. Everything